You're a design professional that needs to add doors and windows to your projects in SketchUp. If you've ever tried to do this before, you know what a big headache it can be. In this video, we'll cover all the issues you might run into, plus I'll share my number one recommended extension for avoiding all of that pain. Ready? Okay, let's jump right in. The most common way of adding doors and windows to your projects in SketchUp is to create them from scratch. Now there's a lot more that goes into everything you need to know to create doors and windows yourselves, and it's more than we can cover in this video. But I do wanna quickly run through the process so you understand the overview of how it works and point out a few areas where you might run into issues. So first, you're gonna to need to know how to create walls and then how to cut out door and window openings, all using the basic drawing and editing tools. Then you need to learn what it takes to use the same tools to create the parts and pieces of the doors and windows themselves. And along the way, you must make sure that you understand how and when to use groups, components, and tags to protect things from getting stuck together while also keeping your model organized. And while it's definitely important to learn the SketchUp skills you need to do all of this yourself, you're gonna run into two big pain points. First, it's really tedious and time consuming to add all the details you need when making your doors and windows. And two, good luck with design changes, because if your client wants to move something, you'll waste a lot of time and get pretty frustrated if you need to change the position or dimensions of your doors and windows. Now, if you don't have the time or patience to create doors and windows from scratch, then you might try another common strategy, which is to download pre-made components from the 3D warehouse. And while it's too much to get into everything you need to know about the 3D warehouse in this video, I do wanna show you where you may run into a few issues. First, while you can edit components from the 3D warehouse, if you need to change something about the doors and windows you download, it can often be a bigger challenge than if you had created them yourself. Plus, you still have to manually create and edit the position of your wall openings. So really, this option only saves you time when you find a really detailed model that you won't need to edit. For example, it works great when you're downloading a specific product from a manufacturer that you plan to use as is. So what's the best solution for avoiding all of the troubles of trying to create doors and windows from scratch, and also from trying to use pre-made components from the 3D warehouse? I recommend the Flex Tools extension. Now, if you're new to extensions, be sure to watch our Getting Started with Extensions video, which will get you up to speed on what extensions are, where to find them, and how to install them. I've added a link in the cards. As for door and window extensions, there are several of them out there that can give you good results. But I think that Flex Tools is the fastest, most efficient, and most user-friendly of them all, especially in the way that it addresses the key issues we just discussed. Here's how it works. You need to create your walls first, and then there's no need to create your wall openings manually. Instead, in the Flex Tools toolbar, you pick the door or window type you want to add, then click on your wall to add it. Notice that it automatically cuts a hole. From there, if you need to adjust the overall size, you can use SketchUp's scale tool to resize it. The door or window won't be warped, but instead will automatically redraw itself to match the new dimensions. And notice too that the wall opening automatically adjusts to the new size. Plus you can move the door or window and the opening moves along with it. This is great while you're still iterating through design ideas. You can move things around, you can resize things, delete stuff and try something new all without having to manually redraw the doors, the windows, or their openings. And then for more precise control, you can launch the component options window to specify and customize every last detail. No need to worry about trying to edit things manually. Of course, FlexTools has added benefits as well. You're able to open and close doors and windows, show 2D door and window symbols in plan view, and then there are also tools that help with other common design challenges like panels, stairs, and fencing. Now I should point out that FlexTools isn't free. At the time of this video, it's 99 euros per year. But when you compare the price of Flex Tools to what your time is worth, it'll pay for itself within a project or two, especially when you consider all of the hours and headaches that it will save you. Now there's so much more to know, not only when it comes to adding doors and windows, but also creating well-organized professional 3D models of your projects in SketchUp. And while it's definitely possible to try to learn everything on your own, if you want to invest your time wisely and avoid picking up bad habits, then I recommend checking out our video course library. It's filled with $8,700 worth of SketchUp courses for professionals, including our courses that cover professional workflows for building out your projects. Head over to our website at www.sketchupschool.com and try our courses for free. And if you're not ready to take one of our courses just yet, at least watch this video next to continue on your path to learning SketchUp. So let me know, what do you think about Flex Tools? Is there a feature that makes it perfect for you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you'd like more recommendations about extensions that could help you out, send us a message to team at sketchupschool.com and an instructor will be happy to give you some advice. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss the next one. And until next time, happy sketching.